greeting folks my name is aditya and i welcome you all to your quas and human channel today we will be learning about burnout it is an hr concept uh, recently it came in light post covid so we will learn what it is why it is and how we can overcome from it and how we can live a healthy life so what is burnout burnout is a feeling of exhaustion being enervated or feeling of disengagement from one's job <clears throat> see it simply means when you are mentally and physically tired from your job or because of your job because you know most of the employees try to exploit not use they have right to use they have right to milk their employees but not exploit and when you exploit your employees taking more work from them in the uh, same salary then that causes disengagement from job obviously does not matter how intrigue is your work you would start to feel the feeling of exhaustion burnout if you are over pressurized or stressed at your job so it is actually a feeling of depletion energy depletion exhaustion increased mental distance that is job disengagement from one's job and reduced professional productivity in relation to chronic workplace stress so i i would not name any ad tech companies but in most of the ad tech companies this culture of being uh, over pressurized or over pressurizing an employee to do a job that was quite common and now most of the ad tech companies are falling so this thing that is burnout affects your personal life professional life and your mindset see it starts from your professional life most of the times and when your professional life is fucked up to this is the etymology i would say it is messed up or the other word and obviously you will start to feel like a loser and in that case your personal life will also get affected and your mindset will also get affected does not matter how great mindset you have it will start to get affected because you are not impervious to your milieu or the ambience that you work in so i would put one more thing see in covid line there see there exists a fine line between your personal life and professional life that has to be maintained and if it is not maintained people take advantage of your by knowing about you <clears throat> that should not happen so uh, post covid and in covid people uh, especially employers took advantage of their employees by making them work more uh, because employees had no choice that time and due to that great resignation happened in america so the fine line you know the difference between professional and personal life in work from home got blurred right so that thing contributed to this burnout feeling immensely so this is three most effective ways to tackle burnout this is for employers how you can help out your employees well being challenges already we are living in an era where people like negative things more rather than positive things people will eat uh junk food paying 100 400 rupees but people will not drink most of them will not drink coconut uh, juice that just cost 50 to 60 rupees to them it seems costly but burger pizza or all those junk foods they doesn't seem costly to them because it comes in a luxurious packaging that's why <coughs> same goes for uh, uh like platforms like youtube people will go and see entertainment videos but they would not go to see some uh, to see something to learn so when we are living in such a culture such an ambience where such things are happening 
we should devise employees should devise something and give to their employees so as to uh, cater their well-being challenges though it won't work or work that will decide but as an employer we are supposed to do then it calls this support stress management that all comes to the counselors and uh, certain activities which should be scheduled time to time in your office so as to make sure everybody feels engaged with your job how you would do it question is that you would uh, have some questionnaires time to time you will take their feedbacks time to time so it it works like that and more than that and then keep your employees engaged i remember when i was in last company uh, maybe uh, every month they used to uh, Uh, play games with everyone with senior managers to managers everybody used to sit and they used to play games and the company was great so that kind of thing should be there uh so you have to keep your employees engaged because of mundane nature of job and uh, these are some other great ways to tackle burnout uh, that is you can work out or you can study something that you love most and obviously follow your hobby that's not every person has a different hobby some likes to sing some like to do something else so you can do that and uh, this is how this world works out nobody works for you you have to work for yourself uh, so at last i would say thank you so much for your time have a good day and uh, if you uh, learned something please subscribe and for any feedbacks you can comment or mail me on this uh, thank you so much folks have a good day bye bye